each and all my gamers and NFT enthusiasts, the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast is hooked up with the Lightest Sphere Network to offer you something special. Go to the top line of the description box and click on the link to play a season preview of the game Finesse Shadow Wars. It's brought to you by play.finesse.fun. Go to the top line of the description box if you went to NFTs and if you went to gaming. Go have non-stop fun. Tell me your boy Oga sent you. Link is the top line of the description box. Play dot finesse dot fun. Go get it. Yeah, I wanna um I don't know if you've seen Charleston White. I don't know if you follow him. I know last time. He a rat. Definitely. I agree with you. <laughs> Matt yeah. Matt Hoffa, I don't know if you've seen that where he talked about his daughters. He pretty much said that he would want somebody to sodomize his daughters. Wait, who said this? Charleston Matt White. Hoffa said this no, no, about no, no. Charleston White said this to Matt Hoffa to you know Matt Hoffa he put a couple of videos up the last couple of days going back at him which I didn't think he should have did but like he should have ignored him and yeah wait because we got to drop on Charleston White up here one time coming to a show yeah because he talked shit about us but we you know they ain't really touch us like that so we ain't gonna meet him yeah that's what I thought that Matt should have did but Matt made a couple of videos and Charleston White again put another video up. Going at his daughters. Somebody every, t- every town somebody go to, somebody should smack the shit out of um Charleston White. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and 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 let me let me give Charleston White, let me, I'm a balanced man. I'm right. I'm I'm working on this Zen shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um Charleston White has done work in the community. Charleston White has, I think he like raises and helps a, a bunch of children. Mm-hmm. And I want to put that out there first. Mm-hmm. Now that that shit is out the way, and that's that part is good, right? Any man that's talking about somebody else's children being sodomized, I, I have an issue with you. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? This is even outside of the things that Charleston White say about um, just ratting on people, telling on people. I get them and uh, listen... I don't participate. Yes, I do. I participate in crime. I'm practicing crime every time I carry a gun, right? By some standards, unconstitutional statutes, Mm -hmm. right? I'm a stand on what I do, though. I'm never going to be like in a car in Cali and try to get my man to take the gun charge. I'm going to take the gun charge. That's right. I'm going to fight the shit all the way up to the Supreme Court and I'm going to win a bunch of fucking money because it's unconstitutional. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be a five to ten year fight while you fight in this case, mm-hmm. and I don't got a fucking job. I'm I, 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 I'm I have my own company, so I don't have to like oh my job's gonna fire me because you know what I mean, right? And that's a real thing for the working man and the working woman. I understand that. That right. ain't a diss. Right, right. Sure. That's me. Like yo, motherfuckers gotta make different decisions when they livelihood on the line. I get that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So Charleston White is in essence like. And I ain't trying to hear all of that fucking like, oh, I'm only saying this outrageous shit now because nobody listened to me when I was saying the outrage when I was saying it the right way. Then shut the fuck up, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Like you don't you don't start advocating for. So- I didn't know he said that shit. Yeah, I got it. I got it on the phone. And everything. Yeah. You don't. You, yeah. So that's that's more the clown yeah. shit. I'm reminded of Nipsey, the late great Nipsey Hussle, when he said, "Sometimes you just let clowns be on goofy time." And to your point. Math could have just been like, let him be on Goofy time. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he's a Goofy. Um, and he, he a horrible representation of a gun owner. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That situation where he was at the thing, he pulls the gun out at, at the podcast and all that other type of shit. Okay, yeah. Um, I think he's being, I think he may have started with, I'm, I'm good with aggressive conversation going towards a solution. Word. You know what I'm saying? Lauren said it. Even after all my logic and my theory, I add a motherfucker so you ignorant niggas hear me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at that. But when you now going into like, I'm a tell, I'm a rat, I'm a this, that, and the third, I appreciate you telling me so I can stay far the fuck away from you. Word. Um, And I'm not going to do any criminal activities around you. But the shit that he doing and shit like that, I, I, think, I think more people... Um, I have to say this very, very carefully. Mm-hmm. I understand someone that does not have my current v- value system of conflict resolution and de-escalation. If they don't subscribe to that value system, I understand that somebody in whatever city smacks the fuck out of him every time he show up. Yeah. I'm not saying you guys should do that. Right. 
Because I would at, rather you just ignore, put him on goofy time. Yeah. But the people that don't have that value, they're not trying to be zen. I totally understand why you would do something like that. Like, like if you say that to me in real life, I'm I'm a fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm just gonna fuck your shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just, like like, and that's that's the scary thing about this internet. Mm-hmm. It's like you could you could like throw stones and hide your hands, but not really hide your hands because we saw it. It was you. It was you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And so the weird part about it is when somebody checks the person for saying or doing the thing. Yeah. Now we mad at them. But shit, even in hockey, a motherfucker get a penalty for instigating. Mm-hmm. So I, I think he's just I think he's a rat. And this he's it's not a diss. He said it himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, he's a rat. And I, I think that's a scumbag move to say that. I, I want to fuck with math. My guy, um, shouts to my guy Mo Duncan. Um, he gets us on me on a lot of different shit, right? Mm-hmm. I think he initially connected us. Yes, sir. Um, he reached out to, you know, the maths podcast and they ain't really seeing nobody no like no more. But I want to talk guns and shit and on that podcast. Right. Because it's all of them hip hop dudes that's moving and they don't have I could I if I had to bet money, I don't know, but if right. I had to bet money, a lot of them moving and they don't even know how to really conceal properly. No. They don't know like I I could I want to put that market onto game. Yeah. Bro, this is how yeah. you get the guns. Hit, even if you want to train your little one, if you like, look, I got 30 felonies, I can't. Cool. One, I don't give a fuck about them felonies. Mm-hmm. One, we could walk you through the process of trying to get those, you know, get your rights restored. Mm-hmm. So I, I absolutely side with math on that one. But I also understand why he would say, make those videos saying like, that's a sensitive thing. Very. Yeah. You, very. He's, sure. There's no way. Y'all bullshit me. There's no way he said that. There's, say, there's no man. way that he said, I think that your children should be sodomized. They got an article right there. Matt Hoffa tells Charleston White the lawyer up for threatening to sexually assault his daughters. So wait, he's saying, Charleston White's saying he would sexually assault his daughters. How old is his, not that it makes it better. How old is Matt's daughters? I'm not sure. They, I'm not sure the exact age, honestly. I think Matt probably our age, 38, 39. So you figure it don't even fuck like it, it, I mean I'm saying that because I'm like damn did 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 it's Charleston... different if they grow in women even though it's yeah it's fucked up if they 20 22 years old they grown right they... but if you if they when I hear the word daughter I start to feel like word. damn bro did you know that these was under eight like word. girls word yeah all it, see that, that's the shit where the, the sometimes you got to give violence a chance <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying word like it. Violence is at certain points a, a very good. And I'm, again, I'm not advocating it because I know you know a, even a robbery could go turn to a homicide like that. Quick, yeah. So I just, I just that's that's some that's some scumbag shit to say, bro. Like on the internet, like just put it out there for entertainment. It's crazy. That's the that's some Takashi Six Nine troll shit that yeah. might get you lit the fuck up. Yep. I want to talk about another topic that's very sensitive to our culture. We talked about snitching. Seen six hundred breezy on a, on a show talking about whether or not Quavo should tell on the person that's being alleged of killing um, Takeoff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, obviously, he was there. That's his cousin. That's yeah. his, uh, his uh, nephew. That's his blood. I've never seen Quavo introduce himself or present himself as anybody in the street. Correct. Hip hop artist. Yeah. But six hundred breezy says if he is to do it, he's a snitch. He's a rat. We've heard this before. It's a touchy yeah. subject. What's your thoughts on that? Um. So I want to clarify what the definition of a rat is. Mm -hmm. A rat. I've robbed people. A lot of people. I've never put my gun on a civilian. Ever. It's just Mm -hmm. a code of ethics. And it sounds so fucking contradictory. A robber code of ethics. Right. Right? Um, for For the regular citizens that may not understand that, you might have watched The Wire. Omar was a gay gangster, but he had a code of ethics. Mm-hmm. And even the gay gangster thing was fucking people head up. Like, Word. what? But he had a code of ethics. Mm-hmm. And it was, nah, we ain't doing that to it. I'm robbing them. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, a citizen, a multimillionaire that was shot for whatever reason, and I don't even, from my understanding, that wasn't no street shit. To my understanding, 
once the Jay Prince people got involved, I I kind of tapped out because I just was like, I don't fucking know, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, it there was a bunch of the story that seemed very very strange to me. Friendly fire, and the little bit of the context that I saw in the video, it didn't appear to be. Usually, you can feel mm-hmm. when the shooting about to happen. Mm-hmm. The the energy, the argument, the the, the right. crescendo. I didn't see none of that. So I have questions about it. Um, but the, go back to the rat thing. Mm-hmm. If we all in this room have committed to do an act that is unlawful, a violation of statutes that could get us time, mm-hmm. we're not going to jail if we all get caught. Mm-hmm. We're not going to jail Oh, I'm not doing time for you. No, you're doing time for your involvement in the illegal activities. A rat is someone that would rat on a person, whether it's the team or uh, someone in the game that's not on our team, for a lessening of their own sentence. That is a a serious lack of accountability. I think that my son, who I've went back and forth with on Twitter, I I respect his work on certain levels. Mm -hmm. I think my son to my understanding, does the best consistent explanation of yes. this being about ethics and a code of honor and accountability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sold the drugs. They're my drugs. It's my gun. I do get the gun charge. If I can get my man off, yeah, that's my gun too. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no felonies. Mm-hmm. Give me the cases. He got three of them. Mm-hmm. Right. So there's a, a ethos. Mm-hmm. I do, me personally, I am also, I am conditioned to, I don't be telling nothing. But I think that's a form of PTSD from being outside. Mm-hmm. Because that shouldn't, that does not translate into a civilian that sees this person rob this old lady. First of all, you scumbag, why are you robbing this old lady? Right. So, no, in this space, um, and again, Quavo has not professed to be street related. The music ain't street related. Right. They some young dudes that was working, that was wrong place, wrong time. And he can choose to be quiet. He can choose to um, put a bag on main man head if he mm-hmm. was there. Mm-hmm. That's an option. Because mm-hmm. I'm just not a fan of the police in general. I, I don't outsource my security. Or my or my responsibility to the state. Mm-hmm. If someone robs me, I've never called the police in my life. Mm-hmm. If I know you did it, I'm going to get you. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. And you can go respond to the police or whatever. I'm going to try to cross my T's and dot my I's. Right. That's me. Everyone else does not exist by that ethos. Mm-hmm. And that's not a knock to them. Um, I think a lot of times we give the state power by continuing to go to the state to handle our shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not again. I'm not advocating for Quavo to go kill nobody at the conference right, resolution, right. any of that. Um, but if he chooses to take, that's an option if he chose to take it. Yeah. Um, but I think in his position, you killed my fucking family member in front of me. In front of me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, almost like if I can't do it myself, where are my other options? Because I still got to look his mama in the face, and you know what I mean, the family in the face. What do I do now? If he really wanted to sit down with the family and say, hey, guys, I cannot cooperate with this investigation. I wouldn't be mad at him either. Right. Because it also then becomes 600. I mean, you you, you in the street, you around street motherfuckers, you should understand the whoop de whoop whoop which which I get too. Yeah. Yep. Because it's a, it's an orbit. This is the this is the reason why I had this. I, had, I remember Will Smith said something <laughs> funny. Fucking love Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> he said, a gangster, there's no such thing as a gangster rapper. Mm-hmm. He said, those are two separate jobs. The things that you have to do as a gangster, you're too famous as a rapper to get away with. Mm. The time restraints that you have as a rapper to be successful, you don't have time to do the shit that's required as a gangster. There's, there's no shit. such thing. Those are yeah. two separate jobs. Right. I think this blend of, I don't want to be around, my friends, you know, uh, like I'm around my guy King Erna, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I'm lightly associated with OBH and those guys because I I like those guys. Mm-hmm. They from North Philly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I was, did, you know, did a podcast with 
on the couch with Queen Le- Slip Joint. Queen yeah, Slip Joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was just quiet. Like, I'm just like, I'm just here. Just I want to hear the conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, we on these guys are not recycling crime. These guys are making the community better. Mm-hmm. Right? So I also would understand someone that under that sees what the state does. Fucking Ab, Leek's brother, is in jail currently for a 40 some odd year sentence for drugs. No homicide. Right. For drugs. Meech didn't have no homicides. They gave him 30 years. So me wanting to help that system in any way, shape, or form is like, nah, do your job. Detect, detective. Real talk. So I wouldn't be as a balanced approach if he did say, listen, I'm not involved in no street shit. That could be impacting to his brand. Yeah. You know? But if he said, I'm not involved in no street shit, this motherfucker murdered my family in front of me at the at the height of our situation. We've been rapping since we was 14 years old. Mm-hmm. I would not commit. He ain't a street dude. Right. Um, if he decides to say I'm street adjacent because of my associations and the mo- when you getting money, you going to be around the other get money. The money attracts money. And if that money came from the street shit and your money came from amazing albums or whatever or basketball. If he wants to say, nah, I cannot participate, or he motherfucker might be libertarian. Mm-hmm. He might be like, I don't participate, I don't fuck with the state. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't judge him. If he does decide to say it, I, I, I can't give him the rat label. I can't, I can't, you know, I, the same as I wouldn't give an old lady recognizing a, a, a murder, I wouldn't. But I will tell him, he ain't an old lady. Yeah. And he around people that ain't going to view him as an old lady. Right. You know, um, and it could have far reaching impact. So, man, I shit, I haven't seen one. a box in like that. It's a tough one. In a long time. But I, I just want to send good energy, whatever decision he decides to make. Yeah. And I, I the dudes that saying he a rat, like, y'all got to stop with this binary shit. Like, let's not act like there are certain things that are clear rat shit. Word. Right. Right. Like certain shit is like, no, you're a fucking rat. You Six nine. Gunner a rat? Who? Gunner. Yeah, he's a fucking rat. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. That's yeah, a rat. That's a fact. <laughs> this nigga pointed. Yep. Yeah. Damn, him right there. Yeah. It's a gang. Yeah. Yep. It's a rat. You're a rat. Yeah. You're a rat. Gun- Gunner, which camp? Gunner. <laughs> you're a you're a rat. You you know you're a fucking rat. <laughs> you know you're a rat. Yep. Nigga, you see him trying to make a soft entrance back into social media? Mm-hmm. They said, get your ass out of here, right? Man, it's a free thug. <laughs> you the motherfucker that put him there. Yep. Yeah, the first one. Like, no, mm-hmm. he's a rat. Um, six nine, rat. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know, lower portion me that I do not condone, that I'm sometimes that evil in me rise up, right? Mm-hmm. Your lower self. That portion of me is like, yeah, I want, I want K-A-R all day. All day. Kill all rats. I, I feel that in me mm-hmm. because it's not about it's not about the celebration of violence because our communities has that have that and I, I I'm not condoning it. The areas that I have to sit down with self and be like, nah, you gotta check that in self. But the reason why it's there is not because of the the celebration of violence. It's you walked into something that's like a marriage. Mm-hmm. We getting in this car together to go on this mission. You knew what the mission was. Yep. And not, not I did you dirty. And even if I did, we got a code. And if I broke the code over there, that's my repercussions for that. Right. But the argument that I get to tell simply because it didn't go the way that I wanted. Because you wasn't telling shit when we was throwing 30 grand at the strip club. Mm-hmm. When them bottles were showing up. Mm -hmm. So for me, you want to take this hardworking dude away from his family for more years for something that shouldn't generally be illegal in the first... Because when we're talking about... Again, I'm a libertarian. The drug war has been historically racist and it has solved nothing. Mm -hmm. And we talk about we America land of the free. Do you guys know that sugar is six times more addictive than cocaine? Talk about it. And it's in everything. It's in everything. Yeah. So you must like you motherfuckers want to tell me which drugs I can take that the state says is okay. Mm-hmm. 
10 years ago, if I would have had a pound on me, 20 years ago, it would have been like, you know you're going all the way to jail. <laughs> right? Now, depending on the state that I'm in, and in most states, I flew through the airport last week from Cali with weed in my carry-on on purpose, and nothing happened. Mm. <laughs> A zip. Mm. <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> like, I didn't try to mask it. I just put it in the fucking carry-on. Right. Nothing happened. Which means I'm fine with that, but right. let's let's not let's not act like the state is the sole art, you know, voice on none of this shit should be illegal. Right. All of this should be, hey, heroin will fuck you up. We have the heroin here for you. Mm -hmm. In six months, that's what the fuck you're gonna look like. Mm -hmm. Take it if you want to. Similar to the same thing that we do with alcohol. Yep. You do this shit for six months straight. You gonna and I drink. That shit is poison. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can't allow the argument to only rest on the lower level people. Gunner was a rat. Gunner was this. That or that. Okay, yeah, Gunner's a rat. But let's talk about the American government that is pretending like they're about freedom but won't allow the American people to say, yo, I want to snort Coke. Yo, and let's make business off of it. The mm -hmm. irony is the founding fathers did all of the drugs. Yep. They had hemp farms. Yep. So like all of these different things, I, I'm not going to just only talk about the lower level person, right? right? And not talk about the, the state. The state is the problem. Because Ab's not in jail for 40 years if this is a just buy it and sell it. Right. A hundred thousand people. I smoke cigars once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. A hundred thousand people a year die from fucking tobacco. Yeah. So we let's not pretend like this is some. The government is actually just trying to protect us. You the same motherfuckers that drop the drugs off in our communities. Mm -hmm. You the same. We was just a test market. The black community. Mm -hmm. You the same motherfuckers dropping off crates of fentanyl and. Low income white communities now. Mm. Miss me with the dumb shit. Mm. Gun is a rat, but y'all are fucking <laughs> demons. Yeah. It's a fact. We definitely appreciate you, yeah. Miles Terrell, the Hip Hop oh, Sense of Podcast live in the building, man. <laughs> Electrifying interview, man. We definitely appreciate you. Before we get up out of here, gotta give you time. Let the people know where they can find you. Yeah. Let the people know about Black Guns Matter. I know, um, I don't know if you still have your, your crown funding still going on yeah, or yeah. everything like that. Let them know where they can donate and, and get busy, bro. Yeah, man. All of these classes, I know y'all, you know, I don't sound like the traditional Second Amendment activist, right? But uh, all of these classes on firearm safety, conflict resolution, de-escalation. I want everybody to understand that my personal moral positions on things do not necessarily translate into me saying, you got a gun, go run down on the rats and things of that nature. That's my moral take on it. We are about conflict resolution. You should be avoiding anything that can land you in a fucking box, whether that's underground or above ground. Um, these classes that we do are to strengthen our communities that way. We've been doing them for years, and we've been doing them completely by voluntary donations, right? Complete, like, if you want to support, cool. If you mm -hmm. don't, you don't have to. We don't take any government funds, because even if I got a government grant, that's tax dollars. They took that money from you. Just because I'm doing something good with it don't mean, you know, uh, it came from a good place. Um, so voluntarism is the way to go. Um, if you guys want to support that work, check us out at givesengo.com forward slash solutionary. Make a donation. Um, we got maybe $350,000 more dollars left to raise on this goal. Um, maybe a little bit under that. If one of y'all super wealthy hip hop artists see this, and y'all want to figure something out, like donate the whole three fifty. We would be a hundred percent appreciative. Um, and if you just got ten bucks to donate, just do that. But all of these classes, conflict resolution, yoga, phlebotomy courses, certification, sewing. Uh, we got it. We just put a Bitcoin uh machine in the joint. Um, okay. teaching people about Bitcoin and other forms of crypto. All of these classes are completely free, and it's what our communities need. Uh, the hope is to make it profitable here. And then start putting them in all of the cities all across America. So givesengo.com forward slash solutionary. Follow me on Twitter at Maj Touré, M-A-J-T-O-U-R-E. 
uh, on Instagram. <laughs> I'm on my fourth page. They kicked me off three times. <laughs> um, M A J T O U R E nine 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 on Instagram, and uh, be kind to each other, y'all. I know we we had a very direct and aggressive conversation today, mm-hmm. but we got it. I'm smiling all of the time. We got to be kind to each other. Absolutely. We appreciate you, Miles, for on the Hip Hop Ascensive Podcast, brother. It's been an honor. Can't wait to do it again, man. Salute. Peace. Yes, sir.